Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jesse's Card Empire. And today, we got another box opening for you. Um, we got the spicy one. The one that's on everybody's talking point right now. We got a Double Masters booster box. Not the little VIP $100 pack, but a proper booster box. Um, so we are going to see if we can crack this open, get anything spicy, and anything I don't want to keep as always goes up in the TCG player shop. Uh, link in the description below. Um, but yeah, let's get to cracking. We are going to, uh, this is my first time getting to bust open one of these boxes. They are pricey, but we're going to see if we can't have a nice little match on our value here. Um, obviously, it's a sealed box, so it has the box topper. Um, cards that I particularly want out of this. Um, Force of Will, obviously, everybody wants that. Uh, I wouldn't hate Jace. I actually need an Avacyn, so I wouldn't hate getting an Avacyn either in the pack or in here in the box topper, but we're gonna come back to that. Um, so, all sorts of great things that we're looking for. Uh, what else? Uh, like, this set is just really, really solid. It's a good master set, so. Uh, Buried Ruin, you lost us all. First Rare, Either Sworn Canonist and Baleful Strix to start us off. Anything in the foil slot? Oh, a foil Mishra's Bobble. That's pretty good. And then uh, I'm just going to pull out Buried Ruin because I think it's actually really good land. Um, but yeah, uh, let's let's talk Double Masters. Uh, this product's doing quite well. Um, I think giving everybody cool off period for Master Sets and then bringing them back was a good move on Wizards part, um, especially when they dropped certain stinkers in Urza Land. We'll always pull those out. Uh, Thopter Foundry. Adaptive Automaton and Mirror Battlesphere. We got a Foil Abrade. Foil Mirror Retriever. Those are actually playables. Um, so again, uh, I think the cooldown period of taking some time away from Masters sets, especially after how Iconic Masters was very poorly received and Masters 25 was poorly received, I think this was a great way to bring that back. Um, so, uh, I need to stop trying to look around the camera and actually look through the camera though. That's Sorry if those last couple were poorly done. We got a Flooded Grove and a Duplicant. And then, oh, an expedition map foil. Nice, 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 nice. Um, yeah, no, I've been enjoying opening up this. There, of course, is an absurdly loud car because I live next to a main road. So, of course, that's always going to happen every time I try to record. Uh, one day I will not live next to a main road and I will have proper soundproofing. Uh, brainstorm. Always good to get, have that card in supply. We got Braids, Conjure Adept, and a Tempered Steel. And then in our foils, oh, we got a Crop Rotation, not bad. Come on though, where's the spice? Where is the spice? I mean, most of the Mythics I'd be pretty happy to open, but let's, let's get something real good. Brainstorm, Treasure Keeper, Ad nauseum, that's a good one. And a Reese the Redeemed. He, I bet his price has to be way down after he's he's been slapped with a couple reprintings here recently. He was like $25, and I bet he's down to like four. Because I bet the demand for him has been crushed by the supply. Um because he was also he was a mystery booster card as well, so more Tron. Always gotta take the Tron. Expedition map. It's like, oh, Dread Return. There's so much value in this. Shamanic Revelation. Austere Command. Not bad, not bad. Oh, Foil Lightning Greaves. There we go. Those are nice. Oop. Alrighty. 
M more brainstorm. It seems like we're getting brainstorm in every pack. Uh, Darksteel Citadel, Master Spoiler, Drown in Sorrow. Ooh, Karthus, Tyrant of Jund. So we got our first Mythic, and it's kind of a Womp Womp because he was just in Mystery Boosters. Um, but still a really cool dragon. Um, great for if you're in the Five Color Dragon Tribal deck. And then we got a Skurst deck, High Priest. So kind of. Oh, Reclamation Sage Foil. Won't hate on that. I think the Reclamation Sage Foil is nicer than the Mythic. Um, no, Karthus is a really good dragon. It's just I don't have Dragon Tribal. And uh, between the two printings, I think his price tag is pretty much down. Ancient Stirrings, that's nice. Oh, Manamorphose, very good. Goblin Guide and Kemba Ka Regent. There we go. Boom. And the chimes you hear in the background is my dog curling up, trying to make herself comfortable. Uh, it's not going well, apparently. Uh, ooh, Mana Echoes. There we go. That's a good Mythic. Oh, and a Batter Skull. A double Mythic pack. There we go. That's the spice we were looking for. Those will... Uh, I don't think I'm either going to play either of those either. I think those will be going straight up into the shop. So if you want to get your hands on those cards, you can find them at the TCG Player Store. Link is in the description. Um, just got to get there before somebody else gets them. Um through here we got graven karens and master of ethereum and a sunforger foil nice not bad so far pretty average feeling box of course that box topper could be all the spice nobody knows what that could be that could be really good or it could be a total blowout um expedition maps those are always good to have mishra's baubles Death Reap Ritual, Trash for Treasure, Stone Hewer Giant, and Thrag Tusk. Ooh, kick in the pants and nothing good in the foil slot. Um, yeah, that may have been the weakest pack we opened. I mean, Thrag Tusk is playable, but ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm not poo pooing Stone Hewer Giant. If you're playing equipment, like, he is a good card, but I don't play equipment decks. I'm not Tomer trying to summon Cauldra over here. Um,. Braid, Everflowing Chalice, Urza Land, uh, Sphinx Summoner, Valor Stance, Basalt Monolith, uh, Well of Ideas, and Ion Storm, Fairy Mechanist, and Sickle Slicer. So we got three Mythics so far, but I feel like we haven't hit any of like the super quality rares. So I feel like there's a couple rares we can hit here pretty soon that are going to start giving us our value. Uh, Inkwell Leviathan and... Ooh, Mazavith! Very nice. Very nice. Everflowing Chalice. Foil. Don't hate on that because that is a great command card. More Urza lands. Crop rotation. Oh, we got a boon reflection, but more importantly, we got a sword of feast and famine up in here. There we go. Mythic number four. I don't know how many mythics you average on box for this though. Like, so I don't know when we're kind of like at our at our point because there's two rares, so the ratios have got to be like pretty high, right? We got a Beacon of Unrest and a Sword of War in Peace. We are on a sword kick here, so that is our fifth Mythic. Very nice, very nice. Ravenous Trap. Sculpting Steel, that's a good one. Uh, Thraven Inspector, Dread Return Foils. Those are decent foils, too. Playable, playable foils. That's what we like to see. Uh, 
Uh, wouldn't he getting in a track so that wouldn't be too bad? Might build that deck in the future, so. Boom. Flicker Wisp. Isochron Scepter and Koldotha Forge Master. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Again, solid value. I think we're. Most of our packs are pretty break even. Um. Like, come on. Can we get that? That Super Spice. Pentad Prism. Okay, Death Shadow. Terastodon, Womp Womp. Uh, the Death Shadow is okay, but the Terastodon is, uh, while a great card in Commander, uh, the financial value isn't there for him anymore, if it ever was. Um, we, ooh, Fatal Push. You love to see it. Wooded Bastion and Falcon Wreath Aristocrat. Bone Picker Foil. Not bad. Sandstone Oracle, Weapons Trainer, Chief of the Foundry, Mana Reflection, and Council's Judgment. Okay, we got a foil. Ooh, two good foils. Urza's Tower, Pentad Prism. So again, like, really solid. But I just, come on. Come on, Booster Box. Put me over the edge. I mean, we still have the box topper. We will get there. That's the end of the video treat. That's how I get you to stay. Or at least skip. So it looks like you watch the whole video. Oubliette, there we go. Ooh, Dark Depths for Mythic number six and a Joyra Weatherlight Captain. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, we are down to the last three packs, plus the box topper. We have six Mythics so far. Can we go for Mythic number seven? Maybe even number eight if we hit another double Mythic pack? Boom, boom, boom. Dual Caster Mage and Grand Architect. Oh, and we got a Foil Flooded Grove. So another Foil Rare. So there's a three Rare pack. Unfortunately, none of them are absurdly spicy. All right. Ash Barons. Don't mind seeing that. Imperial Recruiter and Champion of Lampolt. There we go. Mythic number seven. We are hitting a good run of Mythics. All right. We're on to our last pack, and then we got the box topper. All right, all right, all right. Can we get Mythic number eight? Here we go. Run it down. We got Sentinel of the Pearl Tribe. Joyrus Familiar. Celestia Guildmage. Awakening Zone. And Sundering Titan. Uh, that's literally my least favorite card in the set because you can't play him in Commander. All right, guys. Box Topper time. So of course these will be the non-foils. Can we get Force of Will, Avison? Because you get two, it is double masters. All right, all right, all right, all right. Not hot garbage. Let's go. Box stubber. <gasps> Man, a crypt! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Woo! oh, there it is! There it is! You love to see it! Woo! All right. All right, but we got one more. Can we match the Mana Crypt? Can we outdo the Mana Crypt? I don't think we can outdo it unless it's a force. Okay, Cyclonic Rift. I will take that all day. All day. There it is. Solid, solid box. Um, mm, I don't know that I can let the Mana Crypt go. That feels so good. I think I'm going to keep the Crypt. That's my first Mana Crypt, and it's a box topper. Um... Oh, that feels good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, that, oh. Woo, there we go. That's, that's why you're in it. That's why you're in the Double Masters game. To open up these beautiful things. All right, that's going to be the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, the link to the TCG Player Store, where um, most of the rares that are actually worth anything that I don't have a use for, like, Imperial Recruiter and stuff, uh, the swords, 
all those will be up in the TCG Player Store. Uh, if you were going to buy those cards anyhow and you want to help me out, um, this helps keep the cost on these box openings lower. Um, since I'm not monetized yet, so each box opening cost me like a couple hundred dollars because these things are not cheap right now. Um, and that helps me recoup some of my losses since I don't do Patreon or anything else. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you next time. Peace.